We're joined with a very special guest this morning, Dr. Jay Culpepper. Welcome this morning, Dr. Culpepper. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to be here. Now, Dr. Culpepper, you're with the Greenwood Orthopedic Clinic with Greenwood LaFleur Hospital. And we love having you guys here. We get to discover something new medically each week. I think when people think about orthopedic surgeons, a lot of people think about sports injuries, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, because we oftentimes hear, you know, a, a famous athlete or player, even a high school athlete, gets hurt, they're going to come see you, but that's actually not the majority of people that you see, is it? It's not, it's not. We do see high school and collegiate athletes as well as your weekend warriors that have knee injuries uh, on the ball field, but I would say the majority is, is more hip pain, knee pain, arthritic type things, as well as fracture care, pediatrics, kids falling, uh, mm -hmm. breaking their forearm, or, or elderlies falling and with hip fractures. When, when you talk about you know, arthritis and elderly people, what is it that you guys do that really, really kind of alleviates the pain for them? So multiple things. Usually we'll start conservatively and, and do things such as physical therapy, injections, um, over-the-counter medications to try to avoid surgery. Mm -hmm. um, if the arthritis gets to a point that it's, it's um, affecting daily living, then there are surgeries such as hip replacements, knee replacements, as well as, as shoulder replacements that we can do to alleviate that pain. And when you talk about, you also talk about pediatric care. I mean, what is it that you guys do that really kind of is, is helpful for kids? And, and is what you do dangerous for them? Well, luckily, most kids with fractures uh, can be treated non-operatively and cast. Um, there are certain situations uh, where surgery is needed, but the majority of, of children can be treated with just casts and splints. Now, uh, People who, obviously, we talk about a lot of injuries. I mean, obviously, a lot of that's playing sports, and those things are going to happen. But for, for elderly folks and whatnot, are there things that, that people can do so that they actually don't have to end up with, with some of these injuries that you're seeing? There are. Um, Arthritic-type things, weight loss is always important, as well as um, low-impact exercises. We recommend things, elliptical trainers or swimming, if mm -hmm. possible. Walking is good. Anything with low impact exercise and weight loss is, is, is beneficial. So making sure that you're staying moving and just keep, keep those joints going, is that exactly, correct? Exactly, that's correct. Fantastic. Um, anything else you want to leave us with before we go? I think that's it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate you covering that because I know that when, when people hear orthopedic surgeon, it it's, can be scary, you know, and, and I think it's really neat that you guys cover a variety. I mean, it's not just one you know, group of people, sports athletes, but it's, it's so many that you, you're able to touch. Uh, especially with pediatric care, I think that's interesting because I think it is scary at times to think if your child's going to go into the eye, not Absolutely. have to do that. So, mm -hmm. fantastic! Thanks so much for being Appreciate here. Appreciate you morning. having me. Thanks. Stay with us. Coming up a little bit later, we go to the kitchen with Mr. Loris. We'll be right back. This defeat diabetes segment is brought to you by Greenwood Lafleur Hospital.